In this English lesson, I will teach you the difference between used to and be used to. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will teach you the difference between used to and be used to. And make sure you watch the whole video because at the end I have a quiz so that you can test yourself to see how much you remember. I will have the answers in the description, probably at the bottom. So try not to cheat. Try the answer first before you look at the answers. Used to plus a verb means that something has happened in the past but doesn't happen anymore. Some sample sentences are, he used to work a hundred hours a week but I don't think he does anymore. Or, I used to be able to concentrate better than I can now. When I was a kid, I used to play all the time. Or this one, my English used to be bad until I took Trisha's online English course. Used to can also mean to be accustomed or adjusted to something or to be familiar with. And it's like used with the verb to be plus used to. Some sample sentences are, I'm used to not eating breakfast. Or if you don't use a contraction, then I am used to not eating breakfast. And then you can see how the verb to be is used in that sentence as am, or I'm if you use a contraction. She's used to taking long walks and doesn't feel tired afterwards. He's used to flying back and forth for his work. They are used to hot weather because they have lived in a tropical climate their whole lives. I'm used to getting more sleep than I did last night. Related is get used to, to become accustomed or adjusted or familiar with something. As in, I wish I could get used to getting up earlier. Or, my daughter will have to get used to going to school again soon. And related, where it may look related but it's different use to means to use or utilize something for a purpose so like a hammer is used to build things calculus is used to solve problems in physics and engineering and here's a sentence that uses more than one of those <laughs> people used to have typewriters that were used to type papers but don't use them now because of computers. Okay, now it's time for the short quiz. The answers will be in the description and please try to answer first before you look at the answers. And you can try answering in the comments if you want. So, fill in the blanks with either used to or get used to or be used to. And don't forget when you need to, to conjugate the verb to be. Number one. I blank read a lot, but I don't have much time for it now. Number two, after he moves, he will have to living in a different place. Number three, she blank staying up late most nights. Number four, they blank having a lot of money. Number five, horses were blank travel long distances before there were cars. This quiz may be a little trickier than some of my other ones, but hopefully you can, you can get them right. Number six, people blank ride horses to get places before there are cars. Now don't forget the answers are in the description. Probably you'll have to scroll down to see them. Try to answer before you look at the answers. And the questions also will be in the description where you can find them if you want to read them and try them before you want more time than what you have while you're watching this video. Anyway, also, as usual, if you want more practice, then try making your own sentences with any of the words in this lesson in the comments, and I will help correct your English. You can also write about anything else, too, if you want to get some writing practice and get some feedback from me. If you feel shy about it, just do it anyway, and it will help you get used to it. And that's all for today's lesson. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. Down here, 
You can sign up to get some free ebooks and other things for me to help you improve your English even more. And down there is a link where you can watch another English lesson for me. That's all for now. And remember, with hope, anything is possible.